West syndrome. So, West syndrome again can be classified as confirmed West syndrome when there is spasms in the child and EEG shows hypsarrhythmia. When it is a probable cause, when only you can get the spasms but you do an EEG, you are not able to find the hypsarrhythmia, you will name it as a probable West syndrome. You have seen the patient, you have seen the epileptic spasms and you are convinced clinically that they are spasms. But in case you do not get the EEG pattern, the interictal EEG pattern does not show the hypsarrhythmia, then you would write your diagnosis as probable West syndrome. There is one more entity called possible West syndrome where the spasms are doubtful, the, even the clinically the spasms look very doubtful and EEG also show no hypsarrhythmia. So, this is an accepted classification for West syndrome. So, so far we are talking a few points about West syndrome. We will define the spasms and then we will move on to the etiology.